Okay, here's the situation. We've got two points on level ground. I call them P sub 1 and P sub 2. They're 10.2 miles apart. The angle of elevation to this balloon in the sky from one point is 23 uh, degrees 50 minutes. And from point 2, it's 42 degrees 10 minutes. And we want to find the height to the balloon. So this is what we want to find right here. We have to label this distance x. There's a variety of ways to do this. If you just want to use the tangent function, that's what I've shown here. You could use cotangent also. Um, so from the big triangle, we can say that the tangent of tw uh, 42, I'm sorry, from this little triangle right here to the right, we can say the tangent of 42 degrees 10 minutes is y over x. I left off the minutes until the very end. And that allows us to say that x equals y over the tangent of 42. And then for the big triangle, the tangent of 2350 is y over this entire segment here, x plus 10.2. Okay, and now what we're going to do is substitute this expression in for x and then solve for y okay now you could use a calculator and do intermediate calculations but if you want to take it all the way to the end so you can do the calculation in one step that's what this is showing okay so over here after the substitution i've got a complex fraction i choose to multiply numerator and denominator of the big fraction by the tangent of 42 uh, to turn this into a simple fraction. So there's the simple fraction. And now I will multiply both sides by this denominator right here. So you get y tangent 23 plus 10.2 times the tangent of 42 times the tangent of 23 equals y tangent 42. Get the terms containing the letter y on one side and equal sign. So I picture subtracting y tangent of 23 from both sides, but then using the symmetric property for equality, I wrote it this way. Okay, and from there you can factor out a y on the left side. And then divide by the coefficient of y, which is this thing right here. So there's your answer right there. And notice that this time I've replaced 42 with 42 plus 1 sixth. That's how you convert 10 minutes to degrees. 1 six, 10 sixtieths or 1 sixth. And 50 degrees is the same as 5 sixths of the degree. Okay, so you can enter that on a calculator and get your answer for y. There you go. I'll include a link to the Desmos graph that generated this uh, diagram, and it will also include an answer for the height of the block. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.